everybody were to do this, we can prevent a large number of dementias. It's estimated to be somewhere around 40 to 50 percent. Dementia as a whole mostly affects women more than men. Do you think there's like any correlation to what women were like in previous generations? So absolutely, and I do actually, it's a short paragraph, but I try and make that case in the book. But one thing that I noticed when I was looking at all these data, and as women have gained greater access to education, their cognitive function, when you measure on classic cognitive function tests, has improved and their risk of dementia has declined. Dr. Tommy Wood is back. When we're looking at like those supplements, how much of a role does this play in dementia as a whole? We know that those who have poor vitamin status, poor omega-3 status, lower vitamin D, if they're anemic or they have low iron, all of those are associated with a significantly increased risk of dementia. What's your thoughts on the ketogenic diet for brain health? Do you want to know what I'm really worried about after hearing this? What? AI. I don't know if you've seen the MIT study that came out, 47% decrease in brain connectivity. So I think some of these concerns are valid and some of them will probably turn out to sort of be a bit overhyped. But it really does depend on how we engage in these processes. So if you think about this MIT study, 